everyone. Welcome back. Please come and subscribe, folks. Come and subscribe, like the videos. Also, share the videos. I want to thank everyone that does like, watch, and share my videos. You folks are the absolute best. Listen, folks, there's a link to you down below. Has links to all of my social media platforms. Please go down there. Follow me across all my social media platforms and talk to me because I'll talk back. Also down there as well as links to all of my YouTube pages. Please go down there, subscribe to all my YouTube pages, and turn on your notifications so when I post content, you folks will be in the know. Listen, folks, Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we'll be sitting down right here on this channel, having a live radio show. We'll be discussing all things Jets, everything going on with the team, everything that, you know, we got moving and shaking. Call in. I take live callers. I love going back and forth with you folks about this football team. Now, with that said and done and put to the side, I've come to talk to you folks today about Hassan Riddick, man. Oh, man, listen. <laughs> this situation just keeps getting worse and worse and more murky, as I predicted that it would, because I felt like this is where it was going to go. And here we are. Comment down below. Give me your thoughts. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Listen. I remember telling people that this situation was not going to go well. I had a feeling once he skipped, you know, the voluntary stuff, I was like, something's going on here. And then the mandatory mini camps, I knew then, oh, no, this guy is not playing around. He's not joking. He's he's not going to do or anything or make a move until he gets a new contract. And here we are. Hassan Riddick has officially requested a trade from the New York Jets. He's made it very public. Um, Adam Schefter reported this, all these people reported this stuff, and um, I'm here to give you my thoughts on this. I've been away for a little bit, so here we are talking about it now. Listen, Hassan not showing up to anything was a bad sign from the start. He's been fined 50k a day since he's been missing uh, the training camps, as we know. Um, there hasn't been really no movement on the contract. We also know that he has been fined, or could be fined, excuse me, 15% of his prorated signing bonus. I say could be signed because it is optional for the Jets to actually uh, make that happen. It's their choice and it's at their discretion to do that. Now, from everything that we've heard, it sounds like the Jets are probably going to go that way and make that move and uh, go ahead and find him. So he's missed out on a lot of money. He does not care. Uh, I think Hassan Riddick, again, looks at this as probably his last payday, possibly in the league, because he is 30. Um, and he's going to play it to the wall. And here we are. Now he's asking to go to a new team, right? Now, the Jets did make a statement on that, okay? There was a statement that the Jets put out on behalf of Joe Douglas. And I'm going to put it up and I'm going to read the statement to you, okay? We have informed Hassan that we will not trade him. We have informed Hassan that we will not trade him, that he is expected to be here with his teammates, and that he will continue to be fined per the CBA if he does not report. Since the trade discussions back in March, we have been clear, direct, and consistent with our position. Our focus will remain on the guys we have here as we prepare during the regular season. Now, one of the things that clicked in my head, okay, when I read a part of this, of this statement from the Jets was this part. Since the trade discussions back in March, we have been clear, direct, and consistent with our position. Now, there's been reports out there, okay? And it, again, it depends on who you listen to, depends on who you believe when it comes to these reports. But there's been reports that in the midst of the trade that they sat down, the Jets sat down with Hassan Reddick and his representation, and basically told him, listen, we know you want a new contract. We'd be willing to do that, but we want you to come here and do your thing here. We want to make sure that you can come here and give us exactly what we need production-wise. And then down the line, we'll take care of you. It'll be said and done. We'll get you a deal. Make sure you stay a Jet, okay? And then Hassan Riddick, according to that report, said, okay, cool. Yeah, let's go. All right, I'm, I'm with that. I'll play it out. The Jets made the trade. Boom, boom, boom. He gets into the building and says, uh-uh. <laughs> Actually, 
I'm not doing that. Actually, now I'm going to hold out, and he's pulled this move, okay? Now, that's one report that's been out there that a lot of people believe, but there are other reports as well that have been out there too that say it's actually the opposite, that Hassan Riddick let it be known throughout the process, okay, of the trade when speaking with the Jets, listen, I want a new contract, okay? I want a new contract. That's what he said consistently, okay? And then the Jets just kind of, Never let that happen, and how now we're here where he's holding out, okay? Um, here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal, man. When you look at this situation, it's kind of tough for me to believe that the Jets put themselves in this situation because the only reason that Hassan Riddick was ever even available, right, to be on the trade market, to grab him and to make him a Jet, was because of that contract situation. The Philadelphia Eagles didn't want to deal with all the stuff that was coming with him because of this contract. They've been dealing with this for like, I think, two years already. To this point, they let him seek a trade this past offseason because they were like, yo, we're done with it. We're not close to as far as numbers, so we're just going to move on from you. Go find somewhere else to go. And here he is now, right? He's New York Jet because the Eagles grabbed Bryce Huff. Right with the quickness, so quick, there was talks that they possibly could have tampered to get him allegedly. Okay, so once they got Bryce Huff in the building, that definitely made Hassan expendable. So they said, Yo, let's get him up out of here quickly as possible, and they sent him to the Jets. So, knowing that this guy has been going through it right with the Eagles, knowing that it's been all about the contract situation with the Eagles, why would you put yourself in a situation to not make sure? That a deal was in place so that when he became a Jet, you wouldn't be in the same situation that you are currently in. I, I don't understand it. I don't care. Even if we're, again, when you look at it from the other side, if Hassan did tell y'all, why would you even believe that? <laughs> why would you even believe that if there's nothing in place? <sighs> there should have been something finalized. There should have been something finalized, and here we are, right? I don't think he's going to play at this point. I don't think he's going to play at all this season until he gets something new in place. Because there was also other reports as well that the Jets tried to give Hassan Riddick a contract that paid him more than what he's getting paid currently throughout the midst of that trade talk and, and trying to get a trade done with the Eagles. They offered him a contract initially, and he turned it down. That should have been the end of that, okay? Once you offered that man a contract that you thought was fair and you thought would definitely, you know, get his juices flowing and get him saying, all right, let's go. And he turned that down. You should have known that you were going to be in a tough situation with him. And here we are. Here we are. Bryce Huff out the door. Y'all let him rock. You, you could have easily have paid him $17 million a season. You're, if, if you pay Hassan Riddick, it's definitely going to be way more than $17 million a season, for sure. He's looking, according to reports, for anything from $22 to $25 million per year. That's insane. Uh, he's a great player, though. He's a great player. But that's you're going to definitely give him some big money to get into the building. And you look at everything we're going through now at this point. And you, we also sent John Franklin Myers to the Broncos, right? So a lot of people are looking at Hassan Reddick and saying he has no leverage. That is not true. That's not true at all, right? When you look at the situation as a whole, the New York Jets have gigantic expectations on this upcoming season. Huge expectations. There's a lot of Jets fans screaming Super Bowl or bust. There's a lot of Jets fans that I talk to on a weekly basis that are saying, if the New York Jets, if this team does not get to the AFC Championship or better, that Sulla and Joe Douglas should be fired. Never mind the fact that we know that if... The, my personal thing is the Jets should make the playoffs. But if if they don't do well this season, we know for a fact that Joe Douglas and Robert Sella will get fired. We know they're on the hot seat. Our owner has come out, Woody Johnson, and made it fairly clear that if the Jets are not better than they were last season, then things are going to be changed around here. And that means everyone's going to be gone, okay? He didn't put a playoff mandate out there, but we know that that's kind of what was inferred, all right? So when you look at the leverage that Hassan Riddick has, there's no proven pass rusher here outside of Jermaine Johnson if he doesn't play. And Jermaine Johnson has never had double-digit sacks in his entire career here. And he's a great player. I love Jermaine Johnson. I think he's great. 
but he has to have double digit sacks next season. And then the pressure on Will McDonald becomes immense. This was a guy that was deactivated in certain games last year. He played very sparingly. He's going to have to come in in year two. Mind you, he was a first round pick that most Jets fans did not like at all. That did not agree. Don't tell me that you did. Most of you did. Don't tell me that because I was the guy that was getting destroyed for liking the Will McDonald pick and thinking that he was solid. And there were other Jets fans that hated the pick and couldn't stand that Joe Douglas did that. That means that Will McDonald is going to have to come in the next season if Hassan Riddick does not play, and he's going to have to have double-digit sacks. That's a lot to ask a guy that barely played last season. That's a lot to ask him, but I think he's phenomenal. So Riddick does have leverage. The expectations, the lack of pass rush, and we know that when the Jets' defense does not get pass rush, they tend to get chewed up, okay? Go watch that Dallas game. Go watch that Patriots game after that Dallas game when we didn't get no pressure on Mac, and they beat us too, and that was not a good Patriots team. Man, let me tell you something. I'm hoping we get this situation figured out. I truly do. But as I've said before, and I felt this way going into mandatory mini camps, once there was talks of him possibly not being there, I knew it. Once he skipped mandatory minicamp, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. And here we are. I feel like Hassan Riddick, more than likely, is going to skip everything, including the preseason. And if a deal gets get, gets done, if it does, it's going to be into the season. That's really how I feel. It's going to be into the season, and that is going to be rough. And that's if it gets done then. Because there's a real possibility that Hassan Riddick could be Technically a jet because we traded for him, but not play at all this upcoming year. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. How do you folks feel about this situation? It's rough, man. It's really rough. Comment down below. Let me know how you folks feel. What are your thoughts about this situation? Do you think Hassan uh, is going to get a new deal? Do you think he actually plays in a Jets uniform this upcoming season? At this point, I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what you folks think. You folks have a good one. Peace.